six out of seven. Welcome everybody to Kermit Wig. Six out of seven. Okay, wait, the intro. There you go. That's that's what we are all been waiting for. The draw daily intro. So not really sure what I wanna draw today. I mean obviously I'm gonna draw Kermit, but I don't know how I'm gonna draw him. But today's focus, I also have this brush pen here that I might use. It looks hideous because uh the ink inside of it it's been all around the places, you know? It's like the co it's like the Kobe outbreak in there. We'll try this out maybe. First we you know what let's that's that's today's video. We're gonna try to draw with a brush pen. We're gonna try to draw Kermit with a brush pen. Did I clip there? I, I'm not wearing my headphones now because I want to focus more on the sound, the, the speech of how I talk. All right, so I guess I should just jump in with a pen first. I mean pencil. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, I would like to tell a little story right now, dude. Story about how I lost everything. And to tell you the story, we have to go back all the way to 2010 back when I was in SK. Now, SK, most of you would know, I guess, because it's Kolaka Bangsaan. But for those of you who don't know, Ayub, I know you're watching, if you are, SK is basically um, primary school, which means ages 7 to bloody 12, I think. So back in SK, I was 10. Maybe, I'm not sure, like exactly the day and time, but this story is about how I lost everything, at least the day I lost everything. Um, back in SK, I was morning session, you know, and usually in morning session, the teachers would always come in late. And so we always would, when the teacher comes in late, dude, the underground comes up and vi pays a visit. So teacher comes in late and the underground comes up, all sort of illegal activities would start going on. You know, you have kids talking about girls, you got kids talking to girls, god damn, that's some... That's some fucking next level illegal stuff there. And then you got kids cashing in on the latest craze. You see, back then, we had seasons. We had uh, basically seasons, different kind of toys, different kind of games, and whatnot. There was the eraser season where you put two erasers together and then you kind of battle it out, try to sumo. And then when the eraser gets on top of another eraser, this eraser wins, the one that's on top of it. So that's what's up, dude. And then there's this other season with paper cars. You make like a folded paper car and then you race them, right? That's kind of fun. That was fun. I, I don't remember racing too much on it. Uh, and then the season that the star, our story focuses on here is the pen season, which is you pit two pen together and then you chente them or you flick them I guess but that's not a proper term honestly the proper term would be chente when you chente them like this then you try to knock them off the platform or the table depending on what it is that you're playing on there are two rules to the game that's the rule that's a not the traditional rule the original one is that you have to knock the guy off the table now the there is another rule where you have to get you can do that just like the eraser and that that would be like an added option and there are some like freaking charlatans that only only this is the main only this would be the only winning option but I, I don't believe in them dude again you have to knock the opponent out and then you win now back then these plastic body pen were not common commodities dude plastic bodies pen were the cars back then you know it's like your Ferraris and and Fords and Mitsubishis, Hyundai and what the shit. Actually, Hyundai didn't exist back then in 2010. And so, this story happened in the morning, dude. In the morning, first session, teacher's late, and I'm in class. And there were already a couple of other turn uh, matches going on with the pen, and some uh. The kid, one of my friends, my friends was already in a match with this guy. And then uh, he was like, do you want to play up next? I'm like, uh, yeah. And they were playing bat match. So basically, in a bat match, you have two pens that pit against each other. 
the winner gets the pen that uh, the opponent was playing with. You see? I guess you can see where my story is going now. So back then I think I had about three plastic bodied pen. And oh my god, where is this drawing going? I wanted to do make him do like a like I don't know um, DMX. I don't know. This is not going to a good place. Let's make him hold something, I guess. Like a horse saddle. Okay, so I had three plastic body pen. I guess you guys can already see where this is going. I bet, I bet, and I bet, and I lost all three of my pen. Now here's the thing, though. This is what happened. All right. I won a bet against. I mean, he, I lost one bet against him. This is me. I lost it, and then he used my pen again to fight against me. So if you want to win back your pen, you have to bring in your other pen. So it's more like I'm trying to claim back what was mine. Unfortunately, it didn't end up like that. I just lost everything that was that was once mine. And anyways, yeah, I lost everything that day, dude. And really good friend of mine, he... I almost cried. I, I may have actually cried. It was very emotional, dude. And my friend, he, he was close. Uh, he was a close friend. And he decided to give me, give me uh, his pen, I guess. What a nice... Dude, dude, what a really nice gesture. Especially back then when I was 10, dude. Everyone was cutthroat back then, you know what I'm saying? You lose, you lose. You're not getting that pen back, man. That's how that's ruthless. How, that's how ruthless it gets out there, dude. And that's 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 almost the start. I mean, yeah. I learned a valuable lesson then. You know, just gambling is good. It's fun. Gambling is fun. Just you have to do it responsibly. I, I play a lot of gacha games and gambling is a huge part of those gacha games you know resource spending I think a lot of life life is a gamble and you think about it a lot of resource management and shit even in fact last year I played the little coin dozer machine oh, I gotta get this headphones off I played this little coin dozer machine and have won big dude one coin and we me and a friend that was there we won 12 coins that's a lot. One with one coin, we won twelve. Wow, this brush pens are sensitive, and we ended up spending all of our winnings on the machine. So we got nothing, except we got the euphoria that that winning gave. It was a fantastic feeling. In fact, I would say it's worth it. One coin gave us that amount of euphoria and satisfaction, dude. That's just, you know, that was crazy. Yeah, gambling is fun. If that's one thing I want you guys to take away from this video today, is gambling is damn fun if you win. So, gamble responsibly, know when to pull out, you know? Just, you that's the thing gambling you never know when to pull out you know that's why it's good to have like a couple of friends around to tell you when it when you should get out sometimes that can get annoying too but yeah that day I lost everything if I didn't cry that day dude I'm crying right now it's such an emotional story lost a lot of good pen that day also side note that kid that I lost all my pen to bastard stole one of my pen like a couple months later they actually stole it and he was like no I didn't steal your pen this is a different pen and the pen was not like a shitty common pen that was the only kind of pen in that school so it was blatantly lying dude but I think I got back the pen eventually. I won the court case, if you will. But yeah. I mean, I'm sure he's a good guy, but... He was a bit of a dick to me, you know? Lost a lot. I lost more than just the pen that day. I lost my confidence and a piece of myself. You know? I thought I could win my pen back, but not even that, dude. I lost so much, it broke me. I'm, I'm a broken man now, permanently. <laughs> Not really. Again, gambling. Gamble responsibly. 
because it's fun. It's like I don't want to say it, it's, but you have to do it responsibly. I love gambling though; it's such a good thing. I mean, every video is kind of like a gamble here. I'm trying to. For me, video making is like busting a load in a sink, and making it big would be like expecting a child to come out of that sink. Yeah, just very unrealistic, but it happens sometimes to people. Again, brush. Oh, I'm I'm not too. Look at that. All that on a, from a brush pen. I'm not an expert on brush pen, so you know you have to excuse me on that. A lot of the proportions were f screwed up here. I'll try to fix it, like so. I would give it shading, but I don't quite know how to do it. There you go, dude. It is recording, dude. If I wasn't recording, that would suck. So Kermit riding on some kind of contraption you know I'm gonna color the contraption if I can find my pen no shit yeah I can't can't find it Um, by the way, leave if you if you have any idea what week next week should be, what ne next week's team should be, feel free to comment down below, dude. I'm serious. I'm running out of ideas, man. Let's go ahead and give it some blue. Just here and there to add a bit of flavor. Kermit writing some kind of cube looking thingy. I don't know. Let's add like a little bit of spice, a little bit of flavor, so you can differentiate between the two elements that are in this picture. It's not Kermit with a medical disease, it's Kermit on a medical disease. So there you have it, dude. Take care, stay safe, and uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. Gamble safely. And yeah, that was my brush pen skills too. Nice. You know what? Before I go, I should add a little crown on Kermit. A little, just a little bit, just a little bit of crown. King Kermit. There you go. Oh, I love brush pen. Just a little bit of touches here and there. Just a little bit of touches. There you go. I feel like the crown balances it a bit. Let me just lift this up slightly. It's not in focus, but that's fine. There you go. Kermit week 6 out of 7. Which means tomorrow is the last week of uh, Kermit week. Um, I'll, I'll have something planned. And thanks for watching. Again, leave a recommendation of what next week should be and i'll i'll see what i can i can try it okay thanks for watching